The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Okay, welcome to the Bookmap platform detail. I'm sorry, the uh, live order flow advanced analysis webinar. Hey, this is Bruce at Bookmap. Let's go over the risk disclaimer. Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. The goal of the webinar here is to back up our educational course and our content. Okay, so uh, you guys are subscribers uh, and uh, or owners of Bookmap, uh, so you have access to that four-part educational course. Okay, you can log into Bookmap.com and you'll see it under the tab there for getting started and education. Uh, and then um, uh, the goal of this webinar is to back up that uh, education uh, and uh, uncover order flow phenomena that we see. Uh, 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 that a book map displays, start to very objectively go through a process of reading and analyzing that order flow. And then based on that, we start to anticipate future price movement. Okay, so that's the goal here and to answer any questions that you guys have and to support you. All right, so uh, let's jump into a uh, book map here. I can't, I was covering the uh, previous webinar. I couldn't wait to uh, uh, talk to you guys. So uh, let's take a look here at some of the higher time frame. This is what we've been looking at over the last few days. Okay, uh, this area here of them supporting price above this 7140 area. Okay, uh, we found both yesterday uh, and the day before that uh, we saw some really interesting stuff in the order flow. Um, it, it uh, you know, a little different than, uh, it's always a little different here and there, uh, but this is what we saw, right? So let me, let me cover it. Um, uh, on, let's see, uh, June 5th on Tuesday, uh, they, uh, we started to note them starting to, um, uh, get, uh, get long, I think uh, in some of these areas around here, I, I can't recall exactly, uh, but, uh, you know, price dropped down, uh, and, uh, you know, I might even been up here in some of these areas that the, uh, there was a lot of liquidity and they were stayed in the book and they traded and it was quite a bit. Um, and, uh, you know, the larger players like that, they can allow price to go against them. Uh, and they just, nothing really occurred, you know, and we were looking for, all right, well, based on, uh, uh, that it would be great to see it come down a little bit lower because there's going to be a lot of stops down here. Um, uh, you know, one, two, three, you know, four or five maybe uh, uh, times that it kind of came down into these areas here. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, looking forward to, to maybe uh, uh, knock some of the uh, players out and then to see it uh, go back up to the upside here. Well, we didn't even get that, right? They're supporting it before that. Uh, and we get, uh, we get more buyers or lack of sellers or combination here. Uh, this was after the webinar basically and, uh, and then the nice move to the upside. Okay, so, uh, and we ended the webinar saying that, uh, yeah, they're supporting it. So we're, it looks like it's going to go to the upside here uh, and, um, uh, you know, start to target some of those areas, the high of the day here, for example. And it uh, climbed above that. Uh, and uh, next day, same story, same thing. Uh, they, they started to um, uh, layer in here the, the, you know, here's their 930 open right here on this candle. And it started to come down in these areas here. And again, they were uh, starting to layer in uh, and uh, uh, you know get long in some of these areas up here. Price went against them though, uh, and uh, started to find buyers at the uh, at the bottom here, uh, and um, uh, you know looking for a, a target up uh, up some of the highs here. And we we were you know looking right at it at the uh, high of the uh, cash session. I uh, came up to it and then came right back down. So we started to note that uh, there was some uh, some weakness here, but where did it go? Okay, it went it went down to this area here, and that higher time frame, uh, and uh, kind of where they initiated here uh, on the uh, on the buy side. At least this half hour candle is pretty big, uh, and we found the buyers again. Okay, and so the rest of the day, pretty nice move to the upside. Look at the order flow now, okay? and we're looking at what we're looking at is just like the candles and the speed of the candles and where they initiated some of that buying and selling. And then we're going to take that same process and, and look at book map. Okay. Basically we do it in reverse. Uh, we look at book map, we understand the order flow. And once we start to understand order flow in basic market mechanics, you're going to see it on your higher time frame. 
And so we're actually just taking that education and applying it here. And now look at the sellers now. Okay, and why did why did I mean they're they're definitely in control in some of these areas up here, and these are strong moves, right? So looking again for uh, the 7140 here. Okay, so we've already breached it. Okay, we came down below it. We found our buyers. Okay, or at least we found uh, a maybe a lack of um, uh, uh, sellers uh, as well as uh, people covering, right? So that would be some of the buyers, uh, and. Um, uh, you know, and a, and a move right back up into, uh, well, not, not too much of a move back up, uh, but, um, uh, and then the, we're starting to find those sellers come, come back again here, okay? So uh, on this higher time frame, it looks like it uh, wants to come right back down and test uh, the low here, or at least breach this uh, uh, 7140 area here, right? So uh, uh, again, the same, same uh, uh, analysis that we've been looking at over the last few days, except for something's different now. Okay. And it's, it's targeting, target is this area here, okay? And that's what we're looking at for the last few days. Anyway, just uh, covering bigger picture stuff, and we saw the order flow in this bigger picture, right? And that's uh, important because uh, we can use bookmap that way uh, to start to understand order flow uh, in some of those areas. All right, let's open up uh, some of our indicators here as well uh, and um, get our VWAP up here historical VWAP, which is this white line. Uh, we also have a point of control, which is a blue line up here. It's way up here. Okay. Uh, and um, all right, well, let's, and let's take a look at our bigger picture here, all right? So uh, here's our 930 open right off, you know, in the beginning of the open here, move to the downside right into high liquidity where they were waiting already for quite a while, as you can see. Looks like these larger players pulled here, added lower, stayed in the book, um, and um, and then also we're adding, starting to add lower, and you can see this guy here, most likely uh, same players uh, pulling and adding lower here. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, sell off right to right from the from the get go, return back to where that selling began, and we found more sellers. Okay, and uh, real real nice strong trend here. Usually, uh, if it's uh, not as strong of a trend, you'll get a retest back up into where it broke from here, okay? And we don't get that, right? So this is pretty strong trend uh, to the downside. Uh, the pullback is uh, is pretty shallow, okay? And then uh, we get another breach here, a little bit more of a pullback sh for sure, but then uh, we get this nice follow through to the downside, okay? Right into that area where we've been looking for uh, the last uh, few days, our 7140 area. Let me mark up that area. Okay, somewhere around there. Okay, uh, other areas to look at. Well, um, what sticks out uh, pretty quickly here uh, are some of the swings, and because uh, you know you're going to see some volume in these areas here, and then a low volume node uh, here, because this is where it broke from, and uh, and volume is trading back up into that area here. Okay, uh, and uh, let's see if we uh, what else is going on here. Okay. Uh, you know, we can look at maybe this area up here. Why am I interested in it? Primarily two reasons is the, uh, there's another swing up here. I don't really like it in terms of low volume uh, uh, pullback or whatever. Uh, in fact, I would, I would prefer this area up here. Uh, so let's zoom out a little bit and see what that area looks like. Yeah, that, that looks pretty nice up here. And you can see why. I mean, uh, here's the 930 open and all this kind of sideways action and then the breach. Right, um, or maybe even this swing here, okay, at 82, but 90 looks uh, uh, looks pretty nice as well. All right, okay. So the um, uh, I also like this not only because of the swing here, but the VWAP is right here. Okay, it's a, a few points above. Okay, so that could be a real nice target for uh, the aggressive buyers uh, or the sellers to uh, uh, get short in some of these areas here. All right, so some bigger, uh, you know, higher time frame uh, analysis here, um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's also take a look at uh, kind of bigger structure here. Well, uh, you can see that uh, some sideways action here. Uh, we just made a higher low, okay, and we're making we made a higher high above this area here, okay. So for the moment, 
and let's just take a look at um, the uh, the volume and who might be in con control here. There's both buying and selling, but this is pretty nice uh, auction here, pretty strong. I'm looking at the size and consistency of the dot. Uh, and you can see it's larger than these other areas. That's what it takes to pull the market up out of these areas. And the movement is good at several points, okay, from 71.50 on up to 60, right? So 10 point move. Uh, we came back and, you know, drop right back uh, to where this area is here uh, and uh, at 45 and and uh, uh, found again the, the buyer started to step in on the other uh, on this side here and uh, and pull that market up now based on that let's uh, let's take a look here because it, it there's really it's really both here I mean uh, uh, you know, this, the color and size of these dots is like, it's both buying and selling here. Don't, don't really see a, a, a big distinction, uh, between the two. Um, but it's just a, a lot more volume for sure. You, as you can see, right. Uh, a lot more buying over here. You can see it in the color down here. Uh, and if we zoom into the dots, we'll be able to see it as well. Okay. Yeah, and you can you can start to you can start to see it uh, in these clusters up here, uh, and then some of these areas down here. Okay, you know it just looks a little more green than than red. All right, so buyers in control in those areas here, uh, and uh, we could probably mark up another layer here at what was it was it forty five that I liked? I think it was. Now, well, we got the the figure here at fifty, so that'll be good. So let's put a yeah, it was 45 down here. I like this little area here too. Okay, so we got a bunch of different lines to take a look at. Uh, and uh, let's zoom back out. Okay, well, here's our pop to the upside. All right, and um, uh, looking for this uh, uh, area up here where our line is at 74 and VWAP uh, as well. Okay, let's see if we can get a second leg here. Okay, for those buyers. Uh, nice move. Okay, several points as well. Okay, volume looks pretty good. There is there is a lot of selling in here though too. You know, it's the color looking. Maybe maybe we'll just kind of come back down to where we broke from here and go sideways for a bit. Okay, uh, that's one scenario. Uh, another scenario here is uh, is testing uh, or getting that second leg here. Okay, and measured move would be really nice area up into uh, that VWAP. Okay, any questions? Any questions about the last few days uh, as well? Does it make sense, uh, you know, seeing that this, uh, uh, some of these moves in the order flow uh, and then uh, being able to extrapolate the, the meaning from the order flow and the phenomena really that bookmap is, is uncovering here, but then extrapolate that into those higher time frames? It's the same stuff. And it all starts, uh, you know, with that microstructure. All right. Well, yeah, it's just some sideways action here. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just going sideways. Real, real, no, no kind of insight at the moment. Let's see if uh, we get some sort of skew in the book here to give us some insight. Like if they bid up, uh, and then we, or they, you know, maybe lower the offer, uh, and then we see the reaction by the aggressor. Okay, but at the moment, um, yeah, not, not really seeing much here. All right, let's see if the, um, let's see if we, we just had a, a sellers come in, but we're right back in the middle of the range here. Let's see if the buyers can jump in on the other side. Okay, they're exhausted. See how they're exhausting out here on the buy side, and we're finding sellers here. Okay, and uh, so, yeah, here we go. One more rotation down, and we're finding more sellers. So they're starting to hit that bid, looking for a return back to where we broke from down here then. Okay. I was I was just thinking that perhaps if we reject here 
come back up and it's exhausted out here but if we if we find nice cluster of bind this would be really nice to then return back up to uh 7170 okay instead it it it, it just it followed through it exhausted out and then we found uh you know more sellers hit the bid and okay, so that's why we're lower here okay still bullish though okay uh and uh, in fact let's see if those buyers start to rotate back in now and let's see if we can get back up into some of these, uh, the range up here. Okay. So you note how they're starting to, uh, well, we, we saw them starting to show some interest down here around 62. Okay. Let's see if they can rotate in now. Come on, buyers, hit that or lift that offer. Here they come. Okay. Target is 7170. And what we need to see is significant buying, right? And we're starting to see some of it. It's starting to creep back in, okay? But we need to get where they just drop from up here as well. Uh, and we need to see those, that buying pressure. Okay, here they come. Okay, and let's see if they lift that offer now up into 7170. Okay, it looks pretty good. See how it takes a rotation or two like this? S&P would do this like four or five times. All right, let's see if they get it here on this rotation here, and this, let's see the squeeze to the upside. Okay, not yet, right back in. Um, Thought we'd get it on this rotation. We came up to 68 and a half. Still looking for it though. We'd love to see them lift, uh, you know, raise that bid up a little bit here and see the reaction to that. That'd be nice. But, uh, you know, we haven't been getting too much of that lately, last few days just kind of goes back and forth and the aggressor pops in just like this. Here they come. All right, now let's see the significant volume here on that buy side. Come on guys, you know you want it. You know you want to get, up, get it up here. I mean, you can, you, can, you can kind of feel it in here, but then uh, some rotations back and forth and they just don't follow through yet. You know, and this brings up a good point. This is actually something I've been wanting to cover for quite a while. Um, you know, we're reading the order flow here uh, very objectively and in, uh, in going through it. Um, now, the, you know, the tape is telling us, uh, the, the, the uh, limit order book is telling us, the, uh, the transactions are telling us, microstructure and reaction to all of that uh, is, is telling us uh, what's going on. Now, a lot of times, um, you know the the best one of the best ways to uh, uh, get traders to commit is by um, you know we're looking at the overall of the uh, the order flow and looking at some of the specifics to go in that direction of the overall uh, order flow right and that's why we're looking for this move to the upside uh, the um, uh, now where are they wrong though? Uh, is a really important thing to to look for and look for the signs in that uh, as well okay so it might be a someone a large player comes in and just slams and, and just you know hits the bid extremely aggressively okay that may happen 
right? We don't know if that's going to happen or not. And it will trap a lot of traders really quickly who uh, are, you know, uh, uh, on the other side. Um, the um, Here's our move into 7170. So um, uh, target uh, target reached. Uh, and um, let's see what, uh, what unfolds after that. You can see the sell off uh, right back down into the range though. Uh, oh, here they come. Now they're starting to bid up here. Okay, now let's, let's see a little bit of reaction here. What's the reaction? We find some buyers. Yeah, some, there we go. Let's get a uh, higher than 72, 73. VWAP up here at 76. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is advertising in the tape, okay, by the, uh, by the larger players to make something look good. Uh, and um, uh, it's one of the best ways for larger players uh, to uh, uh, get what they want. Uh, is uh, advertise in a direction, uh, and then uh, uh, you know that's the uh, the dupe basically. Okay, and uh, you know a lot of times we 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 see that with the uh, the order flow, uh, or, or I'm sorry, the order book, the spoofing, uh, the flip of the book, uh, some of this other phenomena that we uncover. Uh, well, we we know those moves, and and it's recorded here, so we we look for them. Uh, and uh, right now, I mean, uh, it's kind of struggling up here, but overall, still, this still looks bullish. Okay, so um, uh, and, uh, you know, the tape looks bullish. Everything looks bullish here. Everything that we know. Okay, uh, and uh, they're they're bidding up here at 65, uh, etc. So you know, our targets are are back up into this kind of VWAP area. Okay. But my point is, like, uh, we'll look for something else now, too. What if, uh, the, that's why we go through these scenarios. Uh, what what if, uh, you know, we get this move to the upside here, and we get a retest, and there's no buyers. Okay, and it doesn't even come up and make, make a higher high here. Well, the first thing we're looking for is a move right back down to where it initiated. And then what if they don't support it down here, those aggressive buyers? Okay, well, looking for the sellers to take it lower into lower liquidity down here. That would be the next move. And okay. what if they don't support it down there? And then we're getting we're getting something very different. We're looking for uh, uh, the sellers to take control. Uh, and and um, uh, one of the, uh, you know, scenarios would be for them to uh, start to hit the bid and with a lot of volume and get a nice strong move away from this area. Okay, so anyway. Um, just wanted to mention that, and I, I don't want to confuse with that, but, uh, you know, advertising in the tape is something we want to be aware of. Okay. And right now, uh, you know, everything that we, we we're looking at and analyzing, it just looks like it wants to continue to, to go higher here. Okay. Just like we were, we were covering yesterday about the grind, um, you know, that, uh, uh, that was another uh, kind of phenomena in the, in the tape. Uh, and understanding that that, uh, that grind. So look at the behavior now. It's getting a little different now, right? We're up at 74. This was that other area we had uh, lined up, you know, put a line in here around 74. We just just came a tick shy of that. Uh, and then look at this, 109 contracts on the offer here. Very aggressive. Okay, what's been the reaction? Where are the buyers now? Well, we're finding sellers here, okay? So I'm looking for 7170. Okay, this just came in. This is all new information. Okay, and we found sellers here looking for 7170. And there it is. Okay, and they transacted. All right, so now we're going to get down into this area here. Okay, this is where a nice, nice move started. You can look at CVD. You can look at the string of... Uh, uh, nice volume here. Are they supporting it? Do we find buyers down here to support this? Nope. We're going lower. Okay, we're going down here. Next swing. Okay, and then the next swing after that. Okay, where the liquidity is. Searching for that liquidity. 65. Let's see if we can get down to 65 now. Okay, down below the swing, maybe some of these guys are going to start to cover. Uh, get a maybe a little bit of a, a pullback here. Let's see how strong or weak it is. 
Uh, pullback would be nice right into the 7170 area for kind of a stronger pullback. A weaker one, we might have just gotten it and we find more sellers here. Yeah, it looks like it's, that's that's the case here. So, so a lot of selling here. Okay, let's see if we can get right back down to where they initiated on this higher time frame down here. Uh, somewhere around the 61 to 60 area. I know I have a line here as well. Um, so, uh, well, let's just call it anywhere between 60 and 62. Okay, starting to slow down a little bit. Note, note the uh, the breakdown here. Okay, we're right back to where we broke from. Okay, not much of a move to the downside on this this second leg here. We might 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 go either way here. We might find some buyers to come back up into 7170, or we might exhaust out on that buy side. Let's see, and let's see if the sellers come in. And then we're looking for that 60 to 60 two area that we just outlined there we here they come all right so uh, that that's where uh, that's where we're going uh, and then uh, then we're starting to look for uh, how buyers might start to react down here okay any questions on this okay uh, just objectively going through it I mean this is what we go through in the course too here's where we saw the difference right right here we noted it, and we noted not only that they were here, what was the reaction with the aggressor? We found sellers, okay, we didn't find buyers. Exhaustion here, exhaustion here, looking for 7170, and it, it traded, okay? And then here, were they gonna support it on the move to the upside? And nope, going lower, okay? Looking for uh, uh, down at the swing uh, and, uh, and, and, and liquidity, targeting liquidity. Okay. All right, here's our move back down into our line right here uh, at uh, uh, 62 and a half. Okay, and uh, note the buyer is starting to come in now. Okay, a little bit lower. Uh, this was the uh, kind of low end of our, our range here, uh, 71.60. And starting to see buyers come in now, right? I'm looking for a retest to 71.70 now. Because we, we this was a pretty strong move. We haven't had a strong pullback yet. Okay, so um, uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe we might exhaust out yet again up here, uh, and then um, that doesn't look like it. No, buyers are coming in. Okay, so seventy-one seventy, and they're pulling at seventy-one seventy. They're actually up higher now at seventy-two and seventy-three. And let's see if we maybe get a pullback to 66, where they initiated here on that buy side and see if they support it. Here they are. Let's see if they, if they support it. No, they don't. they're not supporting it here. All right, they're not gonna support it. Let's, uh, let's, let's rotate lower. Okay, that's our pullback then. Okay, uh, and uh, let's see them uh, hit, hit down to 60, to the 60 area now. We'd love to see him lower the offer, get a little bit more aggressive here and see the reaction as well. Let's zoom out here and also start to get bigger picture perspective. Okay, we're looking for 60, um, and uh, but a lot of liquidity down here at 56, which is kind of funny. Uh, not really sure why. Uh, maybe kind of high volume note. I'm not really sure why. Um, uh, they, they were here earlier. You can see down at 55 and then pulled and then added a little higher. Okay. Uh, in general, let's let's take a step back here. All right, 
here is our, our move to the upside on our half hour chart and we're finding the sellers again. This has been a really strong move to the downside. Um, you know, on this half hour chart, what we're looking for is the follow through to, again, down to the swing here at 71, 7140 or uh, whatever this is, 30 something here, um, 35. Yeah, it starts to fit in as well here to some of our, um, uh, you know, pattern analysis of um, some really strong moves to the downside, and then uh, you start to see like uh, that double top pattern that we talk about, um, where it starts to trend the opposite direction, but it just can't seem to, you know, make the swing to the upside. Actually, it does kind of look like maybe it did, you know five waves or you know whatever i mean like uh, uh it was kind of a reversal here uh looks like um and a little bit of follow through but they just this is it if they can't get it back up here um and this is why i'm i'm kind of calling it a, a kind of variation of that double double top um and uh and then if if they can't um they can't hold this then uh, we're looking for right back down into the range uh, and then it could go sideways in this range here. That's possible, but uh, uh, looking for a trend continuation to the downside. Okay, this is that little break in the pattern, uh, and then looking for that the strong the strong move to continue. All right, measured move at 56. Oh, okay, from here to here and here down to here. Yeah, that looks good. That's what you're looking at. Okay. I'm kind of looking at this volume here. Oh, this makes sense. I mean, uh, yeah, I like I like it. Um, see the swing here, uh, and then that's where we broke from here, and then uh, uh, retested, reached down below it, but came right back up. So I think that's what those guys are. You know, th there's a low volume node here, um, around 54. Okay, so uh, that that makes sense. Well, 56 though is still a little high. You're right. Um, not don't really get it. Um, so may, maybe measured move. Um, uh, let's see if they pull. You know that's a, that's a whole another thing. Like uh, uh, you know look look for some targets here, and they're they're you know the uh, the aggressive sellers come in and just start hitting that bid, and these guys pull. You know, we're going to go lower. They're staying in here right now, though. Interesting. Hundred and four contracts. Definitely the highest in the book right now. Here they come. All right, let's see if these guys, like, if they stayed in here or not. Okay, I'm real curious. Looks like it. You know, we uh, we had a lot, a lot just trade here. 77 contracts out of how many? Out of 77. Right. So uh, yeah, they're long. Uh, and continued on down um, and uh, traded into the the next level here. Okay, how many contracts are here? About 47 or so. At his highest point was uh, 48, and uh, 20 only 22 traded. Well, I'm sorry. It looks like we continue to trade here a bit. So uh, maybe they got uh, some of it pulled. It looks like. All right. So uh, yeah, continuing on. Let's see. Let's see another leg leg down then. Okay. Maybe a pullback to this little area here. Let's see if they lower the uh, the offer into that area here, and then looking for that continuation. Okay, the figure here we've got that on the on the uh, horizon just just below. Okay, that looks poised to trade as well. All 
Right, and um, yeah, ultimately it's, you know, still targeting uh, the, the low down here. Okay, now I know that 35 is that swing, right? So maybe we should mark that up. Somewhere around there, right? Okay, still, still remain. Uh, I mean, you, we see these little, little, you know, pullbacks in the microstructure, okay? but still remaining bearish here okay, until we see something different. Um, we did note there they did absorb here, or they, you know, they did get filled here at uh, around this 56. Okay, here's a move back to 56. Now let's see if the uh, if the supporter if the sellers come right back in here or, or not. Okay, but larger larger player, you know, they're they're well, they're going to be in the green now if they're if they also got filled down here and here, so they may they may dump it um, and then uh, swing right back down to the figure here at seventy one fifty. Okay, or maybe we'll come back up into 60 here where that high liquidity is. It looks pretty good for a target. But even 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 if it does, like and we're looking looking to see if we accept or reject with a lot of volume, a lot of aggressive buying. If we don't, then uh, looking for for that continuation lower. Well, you can see like this little microstructural move started here. Okay, and we do we do see the follow through on the buy side up into this area here, and they're still it's still buying here, so they're they're still buying, okay, clawing away at it here. Uh, but bigger picture, like uh, we want to keep in in mind that as well. Let's see if the uh, where where are the sellers here? Okay, uh, there's some up here, not a not a whole lot. Um, it was this area here where the selling kind of initiated, okay. All right, well, here, here come the buyers. All right, well, now we're seeing something different. Buyers buyers in control, right? And I just can't speak fast enough here. Um, okay, uh, let's see if they, now let's see if those buyers can get in one more time here. A short squeeze, you can see real nice short squeeze to the upside. Let's, let's see if we can get a second leg on that as well. Come on, buyers, let's see. Let's, and uh, target uh, kind of the swing up here, this high liquidity and VWAP as well. Same same thing where we dropped from. Okay, we we should find some sellers up here, okay? Um, and we, we are, we're starting to find them, okay? And let's see if uh, uh, let's see if they start to hit that bid, um, and they are. All right, so uh, first test is down here to uh, to sixty, uh, and then also, uh, well, you know, fifty eight, and then uh, uh, yeah, all the way down to fifty two actually is where that move really began. Uh, earlier, uh, previous webinar was looking at Netflix, so let's jump, just, I'm just curious to jump in and uh, take a look what's going on there. Yeah, okay, so what we, we yeah, we're just noting how, um, and we're going to go over, uh, you know, like I said uh, 
or I, oh, I, got, I haven't told you guys. Um, uh, we have another DX feed uh, book map webinar here at 1 p.m. So uh, if you um, want to join us here, I'll uh, I'll put this into the chat for you. Okay. Okay, so we're going to look at a lot of the uh, live analysis of the, uh, of the U.S. equities. Okay. What, uh, what I was covering earlier uh, in Netflix is just this, you know, just beautiful stuff to see. Uh, I, I just really like it. Uh, being able to see exactly where that liquidity is right at the open. Here they are. Here they are. Here they are. And then way up here as well. Uh, you know, these are the sellers up here. These are the, the buyers down here. They absorbed in this area here in Netflix. They they started to absorb in this area here as well. Uh, we did go lower, but uh, and now we're starting to find um, uh, you know uh, some uh, some buyers. And uh, uh, let's see if they um, uh, can target maybe some of the higher liquidity up here and Netflix. Anyway. Another really nice aspect of that DX feed uh, and equities is apply it to the correlation here. I mean, uh, let's uh, let's add a correlation here to the uh, the book map chart uh, in the Nasdaq uh, overall. Okay, and I'll change this to uh, Netflix. And let's change it to. Uh, yeah, let's use the red color. All right, so here's our correlation with Netflix. Pretty nicely correlated. So let's see, Netflix Netflix is a little more bullish here, as you can see. Okay, it came up above it to the little swing right here where the NASDAQ did not. But Netflix is starting to break out. Okay, so if it can, okay, then, and if it does, then this would be a buying opportunity if you follow these correlations. Uh, you know, it. this is based on, you know, what, you, you, you need to, you know, kind of understand your your market sector leaders uh, here, and yeah, we're starting to starting to nibble away and, and break out here in Netflix. Well, then let's see if um, uh, uh, that can follow suit here in uh, in the Nasdaq. Okay, so you can see what I'm getting at here. Uh, else, uh, if you if you wanted, then you you would uh, uh, if you think that uh, this is overpriced on Netflix, you'd short Netflix up here. Okay. And uh, maybe you would uh, maybe you'd buy the spread, uh, you know, uh, get it uh, delta neutral uh, between um, uh, Nasdaq and Netflix in terms of uh, the amount of shares and uh, trade the spread. All right. So if you shorted uh, Netflix, you, you know, you'd, you you could see where you're going with it. Uh, and um, uh, if you bought uh, uh, Nasdaq, well, you know, you, you're you're losing a little bit, but you're gaining on the on the Netflix. Okay, just looking for discrepancies between the two, right? All sorts of ways of trading, uh, and uh, just uh, starting to uh, allude to some of those. Let's uh, let's take it off here. Just uh, when we zoom out, we're getting a lot of lines here. I'm just getting a little little much on the eyes. Okay. So let's hear. Let's see here. This uh, this initiated buying and this move and, and bump to the upside here. Okay. Well, we dipped below it here, and we might find buyers come in here again. If the if the buyers exhaust out here, here. All right, finding those sellers here. All right, let's see the sellers just slam on it. Now down to 55. All right, uh, and uh, that's where the the liquidity is. Uh, here they come. Okay, and 52 is really where this initiated, right? Which 
is kind of funny. I mean, you know, we never know, but I mean, here's your microstructure, right? And, uh, you know, we, we remain bearish here when we see this and, and majority of the time these fail and, and it continues. Uh, in this case, this little microstructural move here, followed by more volume up here, followed by more up here. It, it, this one worked out. It, the, that storm started here. Okay, and then nice follow through to the upside. Okay, it all started right here. Okay, usually though, like uh, uh, you know, this can be quite a quite a dupe. Uh, you guys can trade it. I mean, there's no question about it. You can scalp it up into these areas, no question. Uh, and then uh, you know, move your stop up or whatever. Uh, but um, uh, most of the time, it's uh, you know, you'll you'll see it exhaust out up here and then uh, you know come right back down. Uh, and then uh, and usually go with the trend okay in this case it it, it simply worked uh, and um, uh, it continued to the upside all right looking for sellers still uh, 52 would be the target here lowering the offer they're down here at 50 the figure uh, on the bid. Okay, 55 has been reached. That was our initial target, right? Uh, looking for that quick move and we got it. A okay, quick pullback too. Okay, note the pullback here that you got another opportunity here to get short. All right, and you know, uh, EI, um, it, not sure what your name is. I always call you EI. Uh, looks like um, uh, you know you're looking for that measured move, right? Well, let's go over something in that. Okay, so this is a a a, a way of uh, potentially managing some of this order, some of the order flow trading. Okay, now we don't cover. I mean, we do cover how to uh, manage uh, uh, some of the entries, exits, and uh, uh, you know moving stops, etc., uh, and targets. Um, but uh, you know, there's so many different ways of uh, of doing that. It's really up to you and what you're comfortable with and your risk parameters. Uh, you know, are you are you a one lot trader or are you a hundred lot trader? Uh, so uh, all of that makes a massive difference here. And there's so many different combinations to do. Here's one combination because I, I just bring it up because of uh, uh, EI talks here of a measured move. Well, here's our measured move to the downside. Okay. And, um, uh, you know, it, it, this is where it came back down to, and we're looking for another measured move to the downside. Beautiful, right? You know, pretty, pretty close, like a, a few ticks off here, uh, but uh, now it's continuing, and, our, you know, our target 52 is actually reached now. Okay, there, now it's coming down to 50. Okay. Um, anyway, my point is this, is um, uh, if you think it's going to go from here, down to 52 okay well then uh, you know you may consider this if you're a multi-lot trader okay look and anticipate for like a kind of a abcd pattern into that right so make your measured move a bit shorter okay uh and then uh, what you could do is uh we can just do the same oops same line here Okay, now, obviously, this would have uh, this came down further, so it was a stronger move. But uh, you know, look for half of that move, you know, something like that. So actually, this would be a little bit less. Look for about half of it. First target would be down here around 57. Okay, then look for a pullback here, maybe get back into it. Okay, and then look for that second uh, measured move into the target, which was 55. Okay, so there you go. If you're a multi-lot trader or even single lot trader, it's like take ha take your profit at uh, half of that measured move, anticipate the pullback, and then the follow-through. Okay, now it might have just followed through all the way down uh, directly. Okay, uh, in this case, uh, it almost did. Okay, but uh, it did do the pullback here, and then it continued. Anyway, it's just uh, something to consider here. Uh, in terms of managing uh, some of your your trades when you have your targets, okay, uh, and uh, getting back in as well. 
So take take a partial or full, get back in, and then take partial or full again. Okay. Uh, if you're if you're even holding more lots, well, maybe you just continue to hold that, looking for your runner. Okay. Or you can even look for another pullback here and get back in. All right. Anyway, um, lots of different ways of, uh, of doing this based on these anticipated moves in the order flow analysis. Okay, nice buying here. Okay, so uh, let's see if there may be a little sideways action here. So uh, nice little, but we remain, remain bearish here uh, still again. Okay. Um, even though we do see this is, you know, it, they they may support it. They have they we've we've come back now and tested here once, and and again now, and let's see if those buyers support it. Looks like they are. They're trying to. Yeah, here they come. Okay, so uh, and then here come the sellers right back. Okay, a little battle going on. I'm still looking for a continuation to the downside. Uh, and, uh, if I can get, if we can get a little more selling right here, um, then, uh, below where these guys are supporting it, or we exhaust out here, we just exhaust it out a bit. Okay. Let's see the sellers come in and let's get down into like, uh, these, uh, forties areas, 46. Now buyers are still coming in here. Yeah. They're still coming in. We exhausted out. It looked, we had the exhaustion. We didn't have the selling here. That was the problem. Okay, we're back up again. Um, we found those buyers. Yeah, here they come again. All right, breaking out above. Okay, the little swing here and now rejecting. Okay. Now sellers, let's see if they can come in and get down below the swing, okay? Get down below this, this area here where their buyers were supporting it with significant volume looking for a continuation, okay? So uh, outside of the range here, back in the range. And now let's see if we get a, a, an order flow change here from, from this buy side, this little buy move, and then back to sell side. Yeah, here come the sellers here. This looks pretty good. Uh, they're, they're, they're battling it out here. Still trying to, buyers are still trying to get it up higher. This looked good though. Okay, one of these sides is going to cave, cave in here. And then here come the buyers. All right. All right. So now we're above that area here. And we, and we had a nice move here. Okay. It's kind of painful. Um, the, uh, the move. Okay. Now uh, move back up into this little swing here. Uh, and um, let's see if we can... Uh, those buyers still want to take it here. I'm skeptical. Um, I, I don't. I don't like. I don't like this move. I, you know, it 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 immediately retraced back down here, uh, and we're still finding buyers and sellers here. So uh, I'm I'm kind of hands off on this one. I, you know, we do see significant volume up above this little swing here. Okay, it's it's this bigger swing where we want to see it now here. Okay, uh, and uh, exception or rejection above this area here. Uh, around 56, 56 and a half is uh, is going to be pretty pretty critical. Okay, here they come. All right, here come the sellers. All right, so looking looking for them to just continue here and hit this hard. Uh, and let's get into some of these lower areas here. Yeah, see, look at the aggression on the see see where they are at 55 here. Okay. Uh, they were here. Now they just pulled They're right back up to where, where it dropped from then. Jeez. Buyers are still battling it out here. Battling away. OK, 
Okay, and then right back up above here and uh, in good volume. I don't know, hard read. Um, I've seen both sides here. And we're seeing both sides play out uh, as well. Okay, but buyers are starting to win this battle here. Um, not not too significantly. I mean, it's only a few a few points up above, but you know we're we're seeing it. I mean, you can't deny the 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 order flow here. Okay, now would now exhaust out here. Let's see if the sellers jump in on the other side here, and then uh, hit this again, slam it hard. No, more buyers. Okay. Okay, then uh, still not not very convincing here of a move on that buy side. Looks a little bit a little bit better. Just that we're just right here. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of follow through here on this move. Um, but um, yeah, it's kind of a tough read. Um, you know, I mean, there's no de there's no denying the buyers here. So uh, uh, in terms of like you know what we see, that the the moves aren't too strong. Uh, but uh, you know, there's there's both buying and selling in here. Okay. Now let's see if uh, here comes the sellers here. Now that's pretty strong selling. Uh, let's see if they can continue that. So yeah, pr you know these quick moves like that. Uh, that's a big shift right there. Uh, and uh, right back down, kind of into this range again. So that there, our kind of 55, 56 area was uh, w where we need to see that uh, who's going to win that battle here, and they're battling it. Um, I'm still going with the overall bigger trend here. And uh, yeah, looking for these kind of lower areas here. Anyway, you can see that, I mean, nice cluster of selling here, but then it's right back up and we're finding some buyers yeah, in, in these areas here. So, you know, uh, uh, sellers down here, this look good, but uh, right back up and finding buyers up here. So it's on both sides here and uh, don't really see anything that's uh, uh, giving quite an advantage. There is, there is, um, you know, one thing, I mean, the, we are making higher highs with, with more buying. Okay. Uh, that that's not you can't can't deny that. Um, so yeah, you know, here here's here's some follow through on that buy side, okay, uh, to the to the upside, uh, right up into another area of interest, which was up here, 62. And again, strong buying. All right, so let's see if we can get a pullback here and see if they, they'll support it yet again. Okay, well, anyway, my, you know, kind of an, uh, the analysis of this move, I mean, we do see the distinction here. We still remain bearish, though. More volume traded down here at this kind of low here, but uh, it was both buying and selling, and looks like more buying here. Uh, come back up, and it, it it trades above, but it rejects, and we find more sellers. So it was both sides here, uh, yet it's you can't deny the I mean the higher highs with more more buy volume, uh, and it continues. Uh, and um, but this this move was different than. Uh, this one over here that we saw to the upside, this strong move to the upside. This was another reason why I um, uh, still stuck on that on that buy side. Uh, nice move here, uh, significant volume, 
okay, buy side, but the move back down here and this and this uh, volume down here, one, two, you know, three, four, five, whatever uh, times, it retested back down in this area, and we had nice clusters of uh, uh, of volume down here. This note how this is different here, okay, and it's it's more it's more bearish of a of a of a move compared to this one over here. Okay, whereas look at the pullback here. Okay, it doesn't even come back down to test this area here. Okay, so we're, we're noting like that's what the advanced analysis is all about is starting to note the distinctions here. Okay, and some of the structure and the and the transactions and the book. Okay, now we're not seeing too much in the book here. Uh, it's in the uh, structure and the uh, transactions. Okay, so uh, this this move did not come back even to retest uh, here. Uh, at our 52, which was our target earlier, uh, and then um, and then we find find more buyers lift it uh, above that area on that very shallow pullback. With look at the selling here, very very little, right? So that that that's much much more bullish uh, in terms of um, uh, transactions and structure and order flow. Okay, compared to this newer one that we're looking at here. Okay. Whereas uh, it wouldn't back and forth here. Okay. So uh, a bit of a distinction there. Okay. Back down in the range here. Okay. It came up to 62 and a half. Back down into the range here. And let's see if they're going to get follow through. This is a beautiful door for those sellers to come in now. We're making uh, lower highs and not seeing a lot of volume on the buy side here. So this is their chance to, again, hit the bid here hard. Uh, and um, uh, get back down into some of the lows here. All right. So anyway, uh, we're over our time. Uh, just kind of reviewing, wrapping up, making a distinction between some of these uh, uh, moves to the upside, but still overall kind of uh, looking at the bigger picture and the move to the downside. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Uh, yeah, you guys are welcome. Uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you um, at... Um, if you're going to show up at one, uh, you're welcome to come here. I'll put it back in the chat if you came in here late. Okay, there you go. Uh, so we'll go over the uh, uh, U.S. equities uh, with uh, DX feed book map. All right. Okay, guys, have a good day. Uh, we'll see you either this afternoon or we'll see you tomorrow.